morning, everyone. We are, you are watching Teras with me, Chris, MJ, and today we are learning Bahasa Inggris. But what topic? Huh, this is not earlier you're watching some TikTok videos, right? But before we actually go into today's class, I would like to remind you to always take care of your SOPs. Okay, the first thing is always wear your mask whenever in public areas. Number two is frequently wash your hands with soap or use hand sanitizers. And last but not least, make sure when you're in a public area to practice the social distance of not less than one meter. Oh, and one more thing, since more things are opening up now, always keep your My Sejahtera app updated. Alright, so for today's topic, if you want to find out more on why they were showing TikTok videos, don't go anywhere. Let's get to know today's teacher. There you go. I have Madam Farah with me yeah. all the way from SMK Bandar Banda Mas, Kota Tinggi, Johor. Yes. How are you, teacher? Alhamdulillah. Thank you. How are you, Mr. I'm, Chris? I'm good. I'm much better now <laughs> that you are here. Yes. Now, uh, Madam Farah, before we actually proceed with today's class, like I was mm -hmm. mentioning earlier as well, you yes. know, COVID cases are still very high. Exactly. So we want to practice our SOP. Okay. So I would like to invite you okay. to apply hand sanitizers first yes. before we actually proceed with today's very interactive class. Yes. I see you brought many... Um, Props together as well, very interactive, I'm yes. very sure. So I will also apply some hand sanitizers. Okay. Okay, so what is the class without classmates, am uh, I right? Yes, of course. Yes, uh, we do have friends on Google Meet joining us today. Let's say hi to them. Hi, everyone. Hi. hi, good morning. Give me a wave, give me a big smile. Wow, look at that. Fresh faces in the morning <laughs> to learn English together. Okay, I would like to get to know some of my friends today, my classmates. Um, um, maybe we can start with, let's go with Roy. Please introduce your name, which school are you from, and maybe one thing that you'd like to share with the class today. Go ahead, Roy. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Hi, everyone. My name is Elroy Ang Yu Yang from S SMK Aminuni Pagi KL. I am good at setting and building computers. You are... Oh. You are good at setting com computers. Computer. Wow, okay, thank you very much, Roy. That's why we're sharing one thing that we're good at today. Yep. And uh, next, I would like to get to know Nicole. Hi, Nicole, good morning. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Hello, everyone. My name is Nicole Ong, and you can call me Nicole. And I'm from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Putra Perdana Selangor. Hi, Nicole. So, Nicole, what is one thing Hi, you want to share with us? Hi, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Oh, everyone is here. So, Nicole, what is one thing you like to share with the class today? I'm good at playing piano. So, wow. I can teach my friends on how to play piano. Wow. Mm. Nice, inshallah. Very mm. nice. Okay, and next, I would like to get to know Patricia. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Hi, Mr. Chris. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Nurul Batrisha Alibiti Zaidi. You can call me Batrisha. I am from Sekolah Agama Menengah, Payajara Sungai Buloh, Selangor. Hi, Batrisha. Hi, Batrisha. Hi, Batrisha. <laughs> Hi, Batrisha. So, Batrisha, what is one thing you would like to share with us today? I would like to share, because I am good in Arabic language, oh. I would like to share it with others. Wow. wow, very nice, very nice. I just nice. know Assalamualaikum and Sadaqallah <laughs> Azim. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. Well, next, let's get to know Kimi. Hi, Kimi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Mr. Chris. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kimi Hafi bin Zulami Azli, and I'm from SMK Section 24-2 Shah Alam, Selangor. Hi, Kimi. Hi, Kimi. Hi, Kimi. Hi, Kimi. <laughs> I love the energy. So, Kimi, what is one thing that you are good at? Uh, I'm good at playing PUBG Mobile, ah. and I used to be a play, uh, PUBG uh, Mobile. Play. Uh. Wow, PUBG, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I used to play too, but <laughs> my phone battery. I somehow. used to. I used to oh. because my phone battery keep dying very <laughs> fast. Yeah, but okay, nice one. And next, uh, we so have uh, Megat. Yes. Hi, Megat. Please unmute your mic and uh, introduce yourself. Hi, Miss. Hi everyone. Hi, Mr. Chris. <laughs> Hi. 
My name is Megan Muhammad Kalimullah bin Muhammad Razdi. I am from Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Taman Setia Wangsa Kuala Lumpur. Hi Megan! Hi Megan! Hi Megan! Hi guys! So Megan, what is one thing you're good at? I like to play RPG. RPG? RPG games. Okay, okay. So he's a, also it's a game. Madam. Oh! Yeah. It's RPG. a game as well. So we have two gamers in the class today. Wow. And uh, last but not least, <laughs> I would like to get to know Akmal. Hi, Akmal. Akmal, oh, it looks like... Uh, thank you, uh, Sikrit. Yeah. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Muhammad Akmal Rahimi, being from New Zealand. Yeah. yeah. I'm from SMK, Sekolah Menengah Kebangsaan Ibrahim Syago, Pain, Perak. Oh, okay. Hi, Akmal. Hi, Akmal. Hi, Akmal. Hi, Akmal. So, Hi, Akmal. so Akmal, what is one thing so, uh, you like to share? Yeah. I would like to share that I'm good at playing guitar. Wow. Okay. Guitar. So one guitarist. You know, that's miss my family and wow. wow. One okay. guitarist, one pianist. One yeah, guitarist, so they need me as a singer. We may have a band later. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so good. I'm very excited to learn from you today, Madam yes. Farah. And also my friends are excited as well. Are you excited for today's class? If you're excited, give me two thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. So, <laughs> Madam Farah, maybe you can briefly share with us what are we going to do today? All right. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Okay. Now, as what our friends have already introduced themselves, now we are all, f all definitely going to focus based on our textbook, okay. Lessons to Learn, Unit 11. All right. Okay, textbook, and they will kids. be focusing on reading and speaking this time. No more writing, but focusing more on speaking and reading, Mr. Okay. Chris. Okay. So, it's page 135. So, open up your textbook, everyone. And... Today, we're going to focus on these pages, page 136, where they're going to read and respond, and page 137, and last but not least, is to give their response, making decisions, page 141. Okay, Madam Farah, before we proceed any further, are my friends ready with their textbooks? And anyone, everyone at home watching as well, uh, do take out your textbooks and turn to page 136. Uh, and 137141 will be that this will be used for today's class. Yes, right? exactly, okay. Chris. Okay, so my objectives for today, Chris, I have two objectives. Firstly, which is to make sure that the students can read, enjoy, and give personal response to fiction. And the second objective that will be my main skill okay. for my complementary skill is to be able to explain their own ideas. All so this is right. the best part. Yes. Okay, so before we proceed with today's class, how yes. about we take a quick break because yeah. I'm excited to learn. I'm sure my friends are excited as well. And for those of you at home, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Madam Farah for today's English lesson here Yay. on Teras Didate TV KPM. See you soon. Didate TV KPM. Didate TV KPM. So, Today, I want to teach you all about business and what we can get from business. First of all, with our business, we can generate a lot of income by selling the products we market to customers. For example, I sell jersey. When customers are interested in our product, they will definitely buy the products we sell. Besides that, with the income we have, we can help both parents and also be able to help difficult people out there for them all to smile. Finally, we can share knowledge to people who want to venture into business and we can also teach people to start a business from bottom up. Alright, alright, class is back in session. You're watching Teras DJ TV KPM with me, Chris and Madam Farah. And for today, we are learning Bahasa English together on the topic of lessons to learn. So if you have your textbooks at home, do turn to page 136. We will be using the textbook yes. to learn today. Yes, Mr. Chris. And also for today, Madam, we are focusing on reading, reading and, and speaking. speaking. Yes, All exactly. Right. So uh, my friends are ready as well. I'm ready as well. Madam Farah, what about you? I'm always ready, inshallah. You are always All ready. Right. So shall we begin today's yes, class? Yes, okay, Mr. Chris. So good morning, girls and boys, viewers out there. So let's proceed to our second segment. 
Now for our second segment, now we are going to have a reading activities. Okay. And not only that, when the students read, they must be able to also come up with their look keywords. That keywords. is a must after okay. doing all the reading activities. And on top of that, they have to do the matching descriptions. This is to see whether they are going to comprehend, whether it's comprehend enough okay. uh, from the passage that they have right. read. So if okay? we understand what we read. Exactly, okay. exactly. Then last but not least is they'll be able to also give a short response. Ah, yeah, okay. so that's about it. So let us look at the first slide. So this is the passage mm -hmm. that the students have to read out. Okay. And they have to actually match with the pictures from page 136. Page 136. So, All right. Friends who would like to give the first one a try, just raise your hands and uh, oh, we'll, we'll Nicole. pick you. Yeah, Nicole. Is, okay, All Nicole, right. go ahead. Okay, go Nicole. Read the first slide. Thank you, Mr. Chris. Toby is keen on performing arts and he is the drama club and the school. He enjoys being creative and he would like to do a course that will keep him fit. Yes. All right. Now, Nicole, now from the sentences that you just read, now what could possibly be the keywords from the two sentences, Nicole? The keywords is performing arts and drama club. Yes, Ooh, the keywords correct? are performing okay. arts and drama club. Exactly. So the performing arts and drama club. Nice, now, Nicole. Yeah, but talking about performing arts, do you know what that means? I hardly know before this, mm. but maybe some of you can explain to your viewers out there, what does performing art mean? Yes, who would like to help, madam? Yes, my God. Can you explain what is performing yeah. art? Yes, my God. What does it mean? Performing arts is just like acting, dancing, or playing music. Acting, dancing, dancing and playing, playing music. music. Exactly. Wow. So, Nicole, having said that, what would be your answer? What would you match it with? My answer is C, dancing course. Dancing course. All right. Now, okay, let's see having said she's... that, yeah. it's C. But how did you manage to get the answer C, Nicole? Why C? From the passage. Because of the keywords, dance. So that was how Nicole got the answer. Right. Now, Performing Nicole, arts. yes, okay. if I were to ask you, if you were given a choice to choose, what would, what would be the course that you would attend during your school break? Now, what would you choose? I will, I will surely choose dancing course. Okay, I can see that very well. What and dance, why? What, what dance do you do? You, do you like Nicole? Ballet. Oh, that's good. So, can you give me your reason why you wish to join ballet classes or courses during the school break? Yes. Well, the truth is, I'm now learning ballet. Wow. Oh, what grade are you in? I'm now learning the vocational grade, oh. which is advanced too. Oh, whoa, advanced wow. too. Can okay. you split? Yes, of course, oh, madam. Oh, subhanallah, I envy those So if I want to learn ballet, I know who to ask. I can ask people yes. to teach me ballet. Okay, yeah? so what are the reasons you have when you chose um, a ballet, Nicole? Yes, because I am always enjoying myself mm -hmm. when I do ballet. I no see. matter it's in front of my family, or audience. Very good. That's a good one. All right. Now we shall proceed to the next one. Okay. Anyone in the house wish to read this? Come on, everyone. Yes. Yes. Oh, Kimi. Kimi. Over to you, Kimi. Kimi. Read it out. Um, Mei is a sports fan, but she enjoys watching sport more than she likes playing. Her dream is to be a sports journalist and write about com competition, matches, and athletes. All right, now, Kimi, what are the keywords that you can find from these two sentences, Kimi? The keywords are, are, are watching sport and sport journalists. Very good. Mm. Watching sport and journalists. Exactly. So what could be the answer, Kimi? Would it be A, C, D, E, F, G, H? F, madam. F. Okay, now F. Now, let us see. Now, he's just said F. Okay. Uh, let us look at the book from that page. Now, look at this. So, what do you think will be the reason why Kimi chose F? It's because of the word writing skills. So, it goes very well oh, with the journalism. journalist. Yes. But what is actually a journalist? Ooh. What is actually a journalist? Can somebody answer? That's a very good question. Who yes. Like okay, Roy. Okay, what is journalist, Roy? Maybe you can share with the viewers out there. 
Madam, a journalist is a person who writes for newspapers or magazines. A person who writes there for newspapers go. and magazines. There Writing. you go. So that is the reason why you got that as your answer. Good job, Kimi. All right, let's proceed to the next one. Okay, who wants to go to the next slide? Anyone in the house? All right. Who would like to help, Madam? Okay, All Roy. Right. Go, Roy. Thank you, Madam. Samuel is interested in different cultures. He loves travelling to different countries with his family and enjoying the food and the music there. He wants to remember those experiences again at home. All right, Roy. Now, what would be your keywords from these sentences read? My keywords would be different cultures and loves travelling. Yes, different cultures and loves travelling. So what would be your answer, Roy? What will you be? My answer yeah. will be H, cooking course, madam. Okay, cooking course, yeah. Why is that so? Why is it cooking class? Let us see, everyone. Okay, now cooking class because of this from around the world. So when right. you travel all around the world, you'll be exposed to different cultures. Good job. Okay, Roy. Now, let us explain, we explained just now what your friends just did when they gave response. Now, they actually used this, mom, mix or match which are based on the colours. Like what I we see. did just now, we had Nicole to explain why he, she chose for ballet classes. Okay. So she actually used these colours. Oh. Right? So we're going to discuss this in our next uh, student so All that right. she or he would explain how they got the colours from. Sure. All right? Okay, come, let us go to the next one. All right, anyone wants to join in? Who wants to read the next one? Yes. Yes, uh, 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 Patricia. Patricia. Over to you, Patricia. Thank you, madam. Emma can't afford to spend a lot of money, but she is very good with her hands and makes some of her own clothes. She is very interested in fashion and likes to look trendy. All right, good. So what are your keywords, okay, uh, Patricia? The keywords are very good with her hands okay. and makes own clothes. Yes, okay, very good in her hands and makes, makes own clothes. So what would be your choice, uh, Patricia? If you ask me, the answer is D, madam. Jewelry making course. Jewelry making course. Now, Let's why see. is that? Let's see why Patricia chose D. Okay, it is because of too expensive, or it's actually to be uh, making, yeah, down there. It's or a making, making and create, okay. yeah. When you are good in handcrafts, definitely mm. you will opt for jewelry making. Yes. Okay, uh, Alia, now, can you give me a reason why, what would be your choice? if you have to attend a course during your school break, Alia? Of course, I will choose the jewelry making course because I love accessories so much. Oh, wow, she okay. loves it so much. And what are the reasons you have besides that, Alia? The truth is that jewelry making is a craft from bits. Mm -hmm, so bits. it does not need so much money to make it. All right. Patricia, what were the colours that you applied when you gave me this response, Patricia? My first color was white. White. And my VA it was is a craft from beads. All right. What was your second color, Alia? My second color was yellow. Okay. And my VA was does not need so much money. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. So having said that, white is for true story okay. and yellow is for positivity. Good job, Patricia. Good job, Patricia. All right. Thank now you, let's proceed to the next one. Anyone in the house wish to read? Come on. Let's go. Okay, Akmal. Okay, go Akmal. Hans is very interested in cinema and likes classic black and white European films. One day, he would like to watch his favorite films in their original language and understand them. Good. Now, what would be the keywords, Akmal? The keywords are their original language. All right, original language. So what would be your answer, Akmal? I think the answer is B, basic Italian. Basic Italian. Okay, why is that, people? Let's go and check it out. Now, the reason is because of basic phrases and grammar. Ah. So that is the reason why Akmal chose original language okay. because original and basic, they have similarities there. Understand. All right? Understand. Okay. Now, girls and boys, always remember, when you read, you need to look for the keywords. And when you look for the answers, they might not give you exact word, but they will come up with similar meaning. Yes. All right? Okay, that's good, Akmal. So let us go to the last question. And I think Magat has not answered anything yet. 
So, Mega, this is a special question for you. What would you join any courses if you have your semester break soon? Well, madam, can I choose two instead of one? Wow. Wow. Maga. Why is that special? Boy, yeah. huh? Why? Why, Maga? Why two? I just wanted one. Why two? <laughs> <laughs> because from the text, we can see that basic Italian only takes us uh, six weeks to understand. Oh, so? It depends on our time and effort. If mm. we put more time and more effort, we might be able to understand it less than six weeks. Yes, of course. Wow. Okay, what would be your another course that you wish to join? Hmm. Cooking class, of course. Oh, cooking class. That's wow. good. Why? Why cooking class, my God? Because during the MCO, my sister and I have been cooking a lot of dishes for the family, such as spettuccine alfredo, lasagna. Oh. Mamma mia! It's so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what else? So, it sounds so good. <laughs> And our signature dish is spaghetti aglio olio. Oh, okay, my God. What were the colors that you used when you gave me your response? What were the colors? My first color was green. Okay. And my VA was more time and effort. Okay, and an idea. Okay, what was your second color, my God? My second color was white. Okay. Which means true story. Yeah. Wow. So what was and it? And my VA was cooking a lot di lots of dishes that's good so having said that that was how all our friends they yes. were able to give good response and they were able to choose the best answer looking for the good best keywords yes madam Mr. Chris. by using the colors right exactly mix or match exactly wow. the colors will definitely make wonders for students out there to give your response effectively and within seconds good yes. job everyone all right, G double O D J O B. Good job. Good, good, good job. job. Good, good job. job. Good job. Good job. Okay, so all right, Mr. Chris. Yes. Now, having said that, all students out there, whenever you read, definitely you have to look for the colours when you are preparing to give response. Now, okay. having said that, I'm sure all students out there they are prepared with their PT3 and SPM as well yes. when they have their speaking test. Yeah. Now, speaking test requires students to always use the colours okay. to always give response and also to use their dad for their questions. Okay, understood. All right. Now, um, we have already completed the second segment, yeah. but let me just explain to all of you. Now, these were the colours that the students have shared with us just now. All right. So, in a sentence, be it three sentences yeah. or two sentences or even one sentence, Mr. Okay. Chris. So, they are supposed to have at least two colours or three colours, all right? So this will be their colours with their VAs as their keywords. Now, what we had just now, example, the first one is using green, that is giving ideas or suggestions with model verb can. So okay. can entertain friends, and the next colour will be blue. Conclusion, exploring new skills. Now, what happens next, you just have to combine it together with either conjunction or with their linking words or wow. with their sentence connectors. And voila, this is what I happens see. when they give their response. So we're using the colours to help us compose a sentence. Exactly. And then we can actually speak it out yes. in the midst of seconds, just like that. Yes, within wow. 10 seconds. Because PT3 examinations yes. or SPM speaking test, the, uh, the candidates will be given only 20 seconds to respond. Wow. And so how would they possibly do that? They need to have the colours up here. So wow. I guess that's it for Ma our second yep. Madam, segment. Madam, I'm learning so much. And before we actually proceed further, um, let's just give more time to our friends watching at home as well to practice this mix or match for your reading and speaking. And don't go anywhere, okay? We'll be right back here on Teras Dire TV KPM. <laughs> Today, I want to share with you the most difficult subject for me in school, which is mathematics. I am not sure about you, however, I have to always thank my teachers who always support and guide me until now. In fact, I should find a way to improve my mathematics. Not only that, I also have to do revisions so that I can remember what I have learned. Math seems difficult because I do not understand the concept and I do not have enough revision. 
many people do not have sufficient time to solve the problems. Many students move on to study more complex concepts with not a strong basis. To overcome these challenges, I need to change my mindset and always think that mathematics is easy and I can always refer to my teachers, friends, or even YouTube for guidance. That is all from me. Thank you. We inspire. We are inspired. And we keep on inspiring. Dede TV KPM Dede TV KPM Today I want to share with you about my difficult subject. Math is the most difficult subject in my opinion because it needs us to keep memorizing the keyword and I already failed for my exam last year. So I find an option to avoid the failure. I overcome the challenges by reading and always ask teacher if in doubt. My math teacher will never give up to share to share me the best way to understand. Every day I do my own revision at home. If I pass the math subject successfully, I can make my parents proud of me and I will be the happiest person in the world. Last but not least, my advice to all is you should not give up and keep looking for keep looking forward to understand better. Class is back in session. Come on back into our class here in Teras Zide TV KPM. You're watching with me, Chris MJ, and as well as Madam Farah. And today we are learning Basa English together and focusing on reading and speaking. speaking. And today's title is Lessons to Learn. Yeah. Now, just before the break earlier, Madam Farah has showed us a very good technique, mix or match or mum on picking colours. So when students read a passage, they get the keywords and immediately they can think of the colours to come up with an opinion exactly. and even uh, read out uh, and speak out say, their opinion with some exactly. response as well. Exactly. So Mr. what are we going to do next? I do see uh, a lot of things on, on your eyes. I see some darts. I, I wonder <laughs> what, what, is for. I, okay. I wonder what is this for. All right, Mr. Chris. Okay. So for our third segment, everyone, okay. now we are going to go another step ahead. Oh, that wow. is also speaking. Okay. So now, Mr. Chris and everyone, I'm sure you agree with me. A person who can write well can definitely speak well too, inshallah. So how do we possibly do that? So hmm. this is my third segment okay. that is to apply mum, right. which are the colours. And the first part is students will be able to exchange their opinions, giving their points of views, and they will have some active discussions, and definitely they will be able to ask questions and answers. Okay. So this is all about speaking. Yes. Yeah? Now, Mr. Chris, all this while when you see people giving response, okay. students will be wondering, Madam, how can she respond like within seconds? I want to be like her. I want to be like him. I cannot respond that fast. Yes, yes. So this is the secret, people. Oh. When you master mom, give it any topic. You'll be prepared, inshallah. Okay. All right. So besides that, they will also be giving their own conclusion to decide. Okay. So whether they Understood. are on the same page. So everybody has to decide. Yes. And that is the best part, to see whether they agree Yes. They understand the whole discussions made later. All right? And last but not least is, of course, when you speak people, you definitely need linking words. You definitely need expressions. Definitely. You, can just, you cannot just like solely use the words. Yes. But you need to have some linkers and expressions to Correct. make it look more impressive. Agreed. So, okay. So, this will be the topic. Now, from page 141, open up your textbook, people. 141. So, okay. this is the, posi the situation, Mr. Chris. Now, their school is planning to upgrade a, facil a facility in school. So they have to decide whether they would opt for pool table. Seriously, we don't have that in Malaysia. Yeah, in Malaysia, but we don't this have is based on the textbook. Okay, but okay. I think it's nothing wrong to have it in Malaysia. Yeah, it's not yes, a problem. I'll be like so happy during our interval, teachers can go and play <laughs> pool table. All right, okay, the next one will be canteen and swimming pool, or would it be gymnasium, or maybe computer rooms, or last but not least, library. So they will have to decide and choose and give their reasons. And I would really hope that other students in the room will definitely create questions to so make it more lively. Yes. But this time, Chris, look at the darts. Okay. You Sorry. are supposed to throw the darts to the magnetic dart there. Yeah. So if the dart 
ends here, A. So the person with the letter A needs to answer. So if, for example, if it's A, it would be Akmal. Akmal. If it's B, it's Patricia. Patricia. Okay. okay, understood. Now let's go. Let us start. Okay, girls <laughs> and boys, get ready. Okay, Mr. Wait. Chris I, is going I, I to hit. I want to check. Are my, are my friends on Google Meets ready? If you're ready, give me a thumbs up. Okay, are you ready? We are going towards our speaking segment, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, go. So it has to be this. Okay, okay go. I, this ah, far, okay. Follow SOP. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. One meter distance. Yes, of course. Okay. I've, I've never played dust before. Oh, so seriously? Okay, I, I'm come. sorry if I miss it. <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> oh, almost blue Set the, the booby. Uh, Q. So Q. Q would be... Now Q goes uh, Kimi. for Kimi. Okay, yes, so... Kimi. Over to you, Kimi. What's your choice, Kimi? Uh, my first, uh, if you uh, if you ask me, I would choose swimming pool. I would choose Ooh, swimming pool. Swimming wow, swimming pool. pool. Why? Yeah. Why swimming pool? Expensive, Kimi. Why? Uh, of course, I will choose uh, swimming pool because it is uh, uh, because mm. swimming is a form exercise, especially for kids, mm. because it will definitely improve our cardiovascular exercise. Oh, yeah. So, Kimi, what were the colours that you used when you gave me that response? My first colour was uh, white and oh. my VAs was form of exercise. So, what was the second colour? Uh, my second colour was yellow and my VAs was improve our cardiovascular Very yes. good. So, we have one here wow. and we have one here. So, Kimi actually used two colours in his sentence. It looks so promising and well-versed. Yes, just with two colours, he's able to come up with a very comprehensive exactly. uh, opinion as yes. well. Yes, Mr. Chris, two colours are normally meant for the average students, okay. mediocre or even the hardcore students. Ah. Yeah, but for the advanced, intermediate, they would definitely opt for three colours. Wow, yes. I, I wonder so, who's going to give come, us three colours. Uh, okay. Let me throw, let me throw sure, one. Sure, yes, go ahead, go ahead. yes, okay. Here goes, boys. All right. One, two. Allah! Allah. Okay, let me try. Let me try. Are you okay? Okay, okay I, Chris, I, I, I think I, you. I, yeah, I'll, okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, okay, so it wow. is N. N stands for Nico. Nico. All right, I have to practice more then. Okay, Nico, over to you. What's your choice, Nico? Well, I will most certainly choose the gymnasium because wow. our school can organize um, different kind of competition such as basketball competition or gymnastics. Wow. It will be accelerating when the tournament is going on. I can feel that. Just imagine all yeah. the basketballers, yes. masculine yeah. jerseys will be like coming and bumping your yeah. ball. <laughs> and the gymnast, uh, all the students from gymnasia, uh, in, uh, that will be athletes and acrobatics. Yes. Oh, with their, with their good yep. posture. Futsal as well. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nico, what were the colours that you used when you gave me your response, Nico? My first colour was yellow. Okay. And my VA was can organise many activities. Okay. So what was your second colour? My second colour was red mm. and my VA was will be accelerating. Exactly. So, Nico had two different colours. Good job, Nico. Good job, Nico. All right. Thank you. Basketballers, huh? All right, now let's go to the next one. Go. Yeah. You, you, you have to throw. I'm not going to throw this. Yeah, yeah I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, do I'll be it. a laughing stock among my students. Okay. So I, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. All right, this one, more, one more time. One more time. This way, this way. You have to be nearer. Ah. Uh. Oh, Q. that is Kimi. Kimi, right. Kimi so, again. Kimi done. So let okay, us go to the next one. Maybe you again. can just take B. B. Okay, yes, to save time. Okay, let us go so to Patricia. B. Patricia, over to you, Patricia. Thank you, Mandel. Ah. Well, I will surely choose the computer room. Oh, that's a good choice. Why is that? What's your reason? Um, because as a student who is learning basic computer mm. science on coding, mm -hmm. of coding. course, a conducive updated computer room is a must. Exactly. So, so what, uh, yes, okay. Uh, school should provide more updated computers to let students learn comfortably. Very good. So, Patricia, what were the colours that you applied just now when you gave your response? My first colour was green. Oh. And my VA was should provide more updated computers. With model board. That's good. Okay, what else? My second colour was yellow. 
-hmm. And my VA was land comfortably. Oh, all right. So, Patricia had another two more colors, and that's good. Green good job, Patricia. Yeah. All Thank right, you, now, man. shall we proceed to the next one? Okay, let me try. One more time okay. for her. You all can do this. You can do this. Yes. Oh, yes. Nice one. So, Akmal, over to you, Akmal. Hey, go, Akmal. Thank you, madam. Yes. Okay, um, the non-deception, the school needs to add more computers yeah, for their library. Oh, okay. So you are choosing library or computer? Uh, library. Okay. So what is your reason behind this decision made? Because it will be easier for students to get more information. Very good. Okay, that's a good one. Mm. So let us go to the next one. All right, let me throw one more time. Yeah, I think you're getting good at it. Madam. Okay. There oh, you go. Yes. R stands for? Oh, yes. Uh, Kimi, did you have... I saw you raising up your hands. What is it? Yes, Kimi. Um, can I ask something, madam? Oh, yes, oh, of course. Yes, oh, I like that. Questions. Yes, yes. What is it? If the library looks very welcoming, how do we make sure all students can enjoy the upgraded library? Oh, oh so it. how do you make sure that students can enjoy the upgraded library facilities? So maybe, Akma, you have the answer because I don't have that. What do you think, Akma? Oh, Alia. Oh, um, Alia wants to answer. answer. Oh, that's good. I like active participation. Okay, Alia, what is your answer? Well, we can have Let's Visit the Library campaign. Let's Visit so, the Library campaign. Okay, so as you were saying? So that all the students will start to feel comfortable and interested in visiting the upgraded library. Visiting, but Mr. Chris Alia, this is during MCO. I'm sure <laughs> teachers out there, they have already started planning or conducting virtual tour yes, in the yes, library, yes, school library. Tours. Good choice. I love that. Okay, now let us go to just now R. R. Right. That is Roy. Roy, what's your choice, Roy? Oh, thank you, madam. Yeah. Well, I will undoubtedly support my school's decision to improve the canteen. Canteen. Why is that, Roy? Cleanliness and food choices match well together. We oh. can prevent health complications. To prevent health complications, mm. I like that. Very That's a good. good choice. So, Roy, what were the colours that you chose? My first colour was green and oh. my VA was should improve the canteen. All right. What was your second colour, Roy? My second colour was yellow and my VA was prevent health complications. Yes, the second colour was yellow. Very good. Okay, let us have, let us have the next one. Mr. Chris, can you please throw one more time? Sure. I think we have another two more, inshallah. Okay. Let us do it quickly so that everybody gets the chance uh, to do uh, that. Why don't we just pick those who haven't gone yeah, already? Yeah, so why not? Okay, anyone? Anyone who, who wants hasn't, to... Who hasn't gave their opinion yet? Yeah, anyone wants to choose? Yours? Okay, Magad. Over to you, Magad. <laughs> In my opinion, sh schools should buy a pool table. Wow, a pool table? I why? agree, Magat. <laughs> why, why, why? Shh, I promise I won't tell anyone. Because, but why? Because why not have something new for the student? It could mm. be as a new activity, oh, yeah. a new club. Wow, oh. new club. I can't imagine pool yeah. club members will exceed more than 300 members. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, everybody will join it. Oh, yes, yes, you're right. What's your... Yes, any question, any statement? Yes, Roy? Madam, can I ask something? Yes, why not? I love questions. Yes. Do you think that we should have a pool table in school? Wouldn't it create issues? <gasps> Oops. Oh, that's a very good question, Roy. Wow, that's a good question. But let Magat answer because he was the one who chose that. Yeah. Over to you, Magat. Ah. That's a good question, Roy. But the way I see it, why not? It's a good real-life exposure mm. because all this time we have been watching it through TV. It'll be fun. Exactly. It will be so much fun. I hope that has answered your question, Roy. But never mind. I don't think so. Uh, schools will agree having that pool yeah, table. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's a bit, yeah. Okay, come. Let us go to the next one. Anyone has not given your opinions yet? I Anyone? All... Have you Who chosen haven't... all? Okay, all right. Now, yep. let us come to a conclusion. Okay. Now, what do you decide? What is the best decision out of all these th six uh, choices here? What would we opt for? Yes, Kimi. Let us go to a decision making. Uh, uh, well, Madam, after this long active discussion, I personally believe that a computer room will be the best choice to all. Wow, it's a safe one. Computer room, a huh? computer room. Okay, you see, he actually used the expressions yes. when he gave his decision. Okay, so yeah. what, what expressions? Okay, so he, he 
He used expressions, expressions to come up with a decision. Conclusion. So it's not just important to give opinion, yeah. but we have to ask questions to further understand exactly. and also give conclusions. Exactly, spot on. All so right. any other support, any other statement to support Kimi's choice? Are you guys on the same page? Come on, you can always say no, you can always disagree. Do you agree with Kimi? Okay, how about... We give our friends some time to think because I'm also I'm having some opinions as well as to some conclusions to Kimi's statement as well. Yes. But let's give them some time to think. We take a short break. Okay. And we will come back to class here on Turas Direct TV KPM. <laughs> I want to share with you guys about the lesson that I am good and can share with everyone, which is magical mom and dad technique. The meaning of magical mom and dad is mix of match and that is decide and drive. By using this technique, I am able to better understand the best way to create an essay. Do you guys want to know how I able to write better using dad and mom? Let me tell you. This format made me easier to write an essay because this format has one by one step to make a quality essay. So what are you waiting for? You guys must follow IGMC Language Center to more details. And now I want to teach you guys how to write an essay in the correct order. Let's get started. First, you need to read your essay promptly. Second, choose a topic. Thirdly, you must outline the essay. And next, you must write the body of your essay. Last but not least, write a conclusion and editing your essay. It is easy, start it. If I can do this, so do you. Let's study together and make it easier. Didet TV KPM TV KPM Class is back in session with me, Chris, MJ and Madam Farah and just before this, we got our friends to explain their opinions on which facility should their school upgrade and Kimi gave a conclusion. Kimi's yeah. conclusion was computer room. Yeah, exactly. But uh, maybe we'd like to ask one of our friends to give a supporting opinion or supporting or even maybe uh, an an argument, uh, yeah. you know, whether yeah. this is actually the right facility to upgrade. So, who would like to support on this? Anyone? Yes, Nicole. Yes. Okay, what's your opinion on this, Nicole? I agree with Kimi's choice, madam. Mm -hmm. I also feel that we should spend more money for something that benefits mm. the students and teachers. So, computer room is the best choice. Yes, wow. I agree with you. Thank you so we much, We have to Nicole. always spend money to those that benefits our students. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, can I have maybe one more? Maybe one more? One more? Okay. Who would like to try? Okay. All right. Okay, done. Oh, yes. Magat. Okay, Magat. What's your statement to support Kimi's choice? I agree with Kimi because if we have a swimming pool or a gymnasium, the maintenance cost will is very expensive yes yes of course i agree with you and students will be playing through one at the swimming pool <laughs> yes yes <laughs> all right okay that's a good one Magat. okay girls and boys now when you heard what your friends just said so they actually use the linking devices sentence mm. connectors discourse markers having to gel in together with the colors choices that correct, they, have correct. they have chosen all right okay so these are some of the linking devices that everybody should be aware of when you give response yeah so as far as i know i would say personally i think in my opinion and they would have like tons of uh, expressions yes. out there in the internet but they have to be smart enough okay. yeah to choose the best so this would be some of the examples when they actually give their response and when they practice it will come out naturally mr chris yes all right okay now the next one would be um, useful expressions. If you notice what our friends did just now, okay. they actually had some of these expressions in their response. In my mind, to my mind, as far as I'm concerned, I firmly believe that. So this is actually in a way, Chris, it, um, it gives a better impression to your listeners. Yes. Wow, not only have uh, a good content, yeah. but you also have a good expressions. Now that gives you more marks for your speaking test, people. All right, so someone's opinion, you can say it is believed that, it is fact that, or the truth is that. 
Okay, so now let me just share with you the colours that our friends just did earlier. Okay. So some of them gave yeah, a green colour, should have a variety of stalls. Now, Chris, always remember, when you use green, okay. it is a must for them to use model verb or semi-model verb. So should is one of examples from model verb. All right, so for yellow, that is positivity. Benefits. Chris, benefits improve side income. Right. The next one, maybe our friends earlier did green colour where he or she had should provide more computers and yellow positive learn comfortably mm. now the next one will be um, combinations of red and yellow so red is for emotions and can organize many activities yellow is for positivity and red is to feel accelerating just like what nicole did just now yes, all yes. right so let us just go proceed to recap back what your friends did okay blue it's like a conclusion it's a new exposure like what Magat mentioned having yeah, the pool the table, table right. yes and also yellow improves hand eye coordination when you do the correct uh, correct when, yes. when you're actually playing pool yeah, exactly or any sports exactly all right now last but not least i think we came out with this where a combination of white true story is a great form of exercise when kimi mentioned about swimming right. the va all okay. right and the yellow color positivity improves our cardiovascular fitness. Yeah. Okay, so let me just go proceed with the combinations of these two colors. We'll help the students feel excited. And the conclusion for today. Okay. Chris. But before we actually go to the yes. conclusion, can I actually try using these colors? Why not? Okay. okay. So red is uh, emotions. Yes, feelings. Feelings. Yes. And yellow would be benefits and positivity. Yes. And maybe my friends can help me as well. Yes. Um, blue. What about blue? Anyone can can help me? What What is blue? What is blue, guys? What is blue? Conclusion. Conclusion. Blue is conclusion. All right. Um, I see a black. What is black? What is black, people? Anyone? Anyone can can help me with black? What What? I is think it's challenges. Challenges. Black problems. Challenges. Problems. Yeah. Okay. okay. And we did not have any black today because they were supporting their choice. That's right. why they did not come out with any black. I see. Ah. I see. And what colors did I miss? Green. What about green, my friends? What is green? What is green? Yes, Roy. Benefits. Benefits. Oh, hey, I, thought, I thought benefits oh, was yellow. No, no, no. Green yeah, is... Suggestion. Ah, suggestion. suggestion. No, it's is, okay. Students, okay. yeah. Sometimes you get confused sometimes, yeah? Okay. But sometimes yellow and white, they have some similarities, Chris. Yes. White is true colour and that true fact can also be positive. Okay. So they can always mix and match the colour. That is right. why it comes out with mix or match. Okay, okay. understood. All right. So now, Chris, our conclusion for today is the students were able to read the text, they enjoy the lively discussions yes. and they were also able to give response by matching the descriptions earlier, segment two. Yes, and correct. And they could actually decide what would be their choice during their school semester break. Okay. And the second one was to explain their own point of views when they came out with pool table, swimming pool, etc. Yeah. And by giving changing opinions and giving reasons. And they also decided to go for Computer rooms. Okay? Everyone agrees, right? Yes, everyone did, agrees. Did everyone agree. I'm just curious. Guys, did did I mean let uh, yeah. Chris is asking, do all of you agree with the computer that room? Computer room should be the choice if, to be upgraded. If you you are you agree with uh, Kimi's choice, you can give me a thumbs up. If you're like eh, not not I not be I'm honest, like, yeah, be you honest. Can, you can just give like a side oh, way. Okay, like, all right, that's okay, good. Everyone, yeah. Okay, everyone, okay, most of the uh, majority. Maybe, maybe one day if I get the opportunity to have my own school, yes. I'll go with the gymnasium, gymnasium swimming pool, yes, and I'm, pool table. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, how cool Very is that? Fun. Okay, now. Um, so before we end, I have to make sure all students can give me their own learning points. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So now, girls and boys, what are the learning points that you have gained from today's lesson? Sharing. Anyone? Anyone in the house? Yes, Roy. Thank you, madam. Today, I learned how to apply the colors and VAs in my sentences, as well as how to use two colors. Yes, wow. learn how to use the colors in giving your response. That's good, Roy. Anyone else wants to share your learning points? Yes, okay, Magat, Akmal, yep. which let's, one? Let's go with uh, Akmal, 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 Akmal. Let's go with Akmal. Okay, go Akmal. What's so your learning point? One more. Yep. Okay, madam. Uh, I can argue and create a lively conversation. Yes, spot on. Argue and create lively conversations. That's good. I agree with you, Akma. Okay, like, can I have the last one?
Can I have the last one to give me your learning points? Yes, Alia. Oh, my God. Okay, Alia. Uh, Alia, okay. Alia. Yeah. Alia, la Alia. So Thank active. you, Edo. Yes, yes. Today, I feel more excited to give response using the colours. Wow. Yes, I'm sure you like is so looking forward for your next uh, speaking yes. activities in school, huh? Yes. But make sure you have to wait for your teacher to ask first, then you answer. Yeah, uh, don't get yourself carried away. So confident, yeah. and you don't even wait for the teachers to ask. Yeah, and madam, this is also the very first time I am experiencing all these colors as well. I actually never re uh, learned this back in my my day. Like yeah, I, I'm, you like can actually use ago. this in your daily conversation. Case. Exactly, exactly. And for those watching as well, do try and practice using these colors for your reading, giving opinions as well. So I just want to say, uh, with that, I want to thank all my friends. How are you guys? Uh, are you excited today? Give me a double thumbs up. I think we have Magad. Magad wanted to share the last one. Magad. Oh, okay, okay. Magad. Share me your learning point, Magad. Okay. Go ahead, Magad. I what saw you raising out your hands. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> I learned how to be more confident. Oh, more you look confident. confident. You look so Everyone confident. Everyone looks more confident <laughs> as well. So, Madam Farah, thank you so much for today's lesson. I learned so much. And thank you to so my friends. And for the rest of you, don't go anywhere. Madam Farah has prepared for us a special song with regards to today's lesson. lesson. And we will see you again next time on Teras Delay TV KPM. Bye! Bye! Enjoy singing! Alright, so you're gonna go first, right? You say it's easy, I say it's crazy. This makes me turn all blue. You've never felt me more like what I do. Nothing can say that is true. Go! Don't mess it up, I tell myself. Only gonna push me away, that's Woo! it When you will teach me, that makes me happy Let's do this all again Don't go and look at me with that look in your eyes I really am going away go. without you telling me how You, you can be reason with I'm done, done being polite I've told you one, two, three, four, five, six thousand times haven't I made it obvious? What, what? Haven't I made it clear? Yay, Chris! Want, want me to spell it out for you? S E R E S S. Hit it, Chris! Haven't I made it obvious? What, what? Haven't I made it clear? Want me to spell it out for you? S E R E S S. Okay, one more round. You need to guide me. You need to teach me. I am the same no more. It's been such long months, and yes, it's not fun struggling. Yes, I'm still not done. Don't, Don't mess it up, I tell myself. Only gonna push me away, away. that's it. When you will teach me, that, that makes me happy. Let's do it all again. again. Don't go and look at me with that go. look in your eyes. I really am going away without you telling me how. You, you can be reason with I'm done being, being for life. I saw you one, two, three, four, five, six thousand times. Oh, no, I haven't made, made it, it obvious. Crazy. What, what, haven't I made it clear? What, 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 hey, what? Be it out for you. S T R E S S. Good, yes. Haven't I made it obvious? Did it, TV.